Welcome to the Little Garden Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to make some refreshing rhubarb lemonade with this rhubarb that I just picked out of my patch this afternoon. So we'll be starting off by boiling up a whole bunch of this beautiful rhubarb here, along with some sugar, some lemonade. And at the end of the video, stay tuned, I will show you what we can do with this leftover rhubarb once we get our lemonade made. So to start off, we're gonna bring approximately six cups of water to a boil and along with two thirds cups of sugar. Now, depending on your preference level of how sweet you want, you can bump that sugar up to, you know, three quarters of a cup. I like to have my uh, lemonade drinks fairly tart, so I'm gonna keep my sugar at just two thirds. So while that gets boiling and the sugar dissolves, we're gonna get, get our rhubarb chopped up and one lemon ready to squeeze in. So there's a lot of wonderful recipes out there that you can uh, use rhubarb in. And I do have another video that I made last year that shows three easy recipes that you can uh, make with fresh rhubarb from your garden. I'll leave the link to that above and down in the description box below. I'm just gonna cut these into smaller bite-sized pieces and I should hopefully get about four cups of rhubarb out of this. Okay, so we got this into a gentle boil now, so it's time to add in the rhubarb. And the juice of one lemon. And once that starts boiling, I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit and just kind of let it gently simmer for about five or ten minutes just to let all that beautiful rhubarb flavor infuse into the water here. Okay, now that we have let that simmer for a good ten minutes or so, we're just going to run it through a fine mesh strainer. Make sure you got one big enough to, to handle all of this rhubarb. I'm just going to let this sit here and drain on its own for 20 minutes. Just check out that beautiful color. So once this is well drained, I'm just going to dump this leftover rhubarb pulp over here. We'll deal with that in a minute. As you can see, we have this beautiful, beautiful pink colored lemonade. So I'm gonna try and hopefully it all fits in here and we will just let it cool to room temperature and put it in the fridge and let it refrigerate for at least four hours. This will be a tester glass for me later. So with this leftover rhubarb pulp, it makes a wonderful addition to some yogurt, put it on your porridge, and tonight I think we're going to have it on some ice cream. So what I do just to kind of enhance the flavor a little bit more is add some cinnamon to it. This is totally optional, but it's highly recommended. Just stir that in. Again, this is a little bit tart. You may want to add more sugar if you prefer it more sweet, but I think this is going to be good. It's not really much to look at, but it sure tastes delicious on ice cream. So be sure to check out my other video on three easy recipes that you can make with fresh rhubarb. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. 
Thanks for watching.